So we had done all full band songs up to, you know, a certain point in time. And we were doing Ghost Town Tuesdays for weeks. And we wanted to start this thing called Haunted Fridays, which we have we don't do anymore as of right now, but um, where we do acoustic tracks of songs that we had, you know, more or less recently put out and put them out on a Friday to just keep giving, you know, people content and stuff and keep giving people songs and just new things. The first song we wanted to put out was Game Freak Acoustic. So, uh, I remember we had the most difficult time tracking this acoustic song. And I think that's why it's one of my favorite acoustic songs, because we really had to bust our asses to make this song happen. I remember the studio was connected to a bathroom, and Kevin had an acoustic guitar from when he was in high school that had been like warped in his pickup truck from the heat. And so it was just kind of busted up. We tracked the acoustics in the, in the bathroom next to the water heater with like a wire for the headphones like going into the doorway. You know, so like doing each part, I mean Alex switching off, recording each other, each part, and I remember it was like, just the authenticity of putting the whole thing together. I mean, that's the version that's on the album. It's just that acoustic song done in the edge of the bathroom. And like, we never re-recorded it. It was like this, this, this is this, the cool version. We should never touch it. And so that's what's on there. It's kind of crazy. Uh, it's just so crazy how all the styles kind of work together really well. We're trying to create something much more than just a band. On Hollywood Boulevard, there there was this bar called Angels and Kings where people would just play acoustic sets or whatever. So Kevin got invited to do it. No one knows what this song is. It always sounded like, the song sounds like one of the real songs. This doesn't sound like, it doesn't sound out of place at all. You know what I'm saying? So I remember just hearing Game Freak Acoustic in front of all these strangers and thinking like, this, is, this song sounds kind of real. No one knows what this song is, but it sounds pretty legit. That song, I don't think any of us expected it to really like become such a, like, a campfire, sing-along song like that everyone loves. I feel like everyone connects to it. It feels like, from, it feels like the roots of Ghost Town from the very beginning, especially broken down to the bare bones form, super raw. Like, this is what Ghost Town started out from. I think the best experience out of everything, when you bring it all together and you look at it as a whole, the best experience is literally people's reaction and seeing how they pick up on the emotions that we portray. A lot of fans, a lot of friends, a lot of listeners don't really get the time that they get to spend around the guys, you know, as much as me or Jake or Alistair. I'd say Ghost Town as people, Manny, Alex, Evan, and Kevin, are probably some of the best hardworking people I've ever met. We all need each other, and our band is not only dope because we have good music and good art, and you know, just we have our world that we created for these for these ghosts to you know get lost in. But at the same time, we really care about our fans, and we we want to reach the kids all over the world. You know, not just in the states, but just all over the world. Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 this melody and rhythm is so ridiculous. <laughs>